hi guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make um this pencil skirt that ties from the side so i saw in the comment section that i should make just an illustration for that so that's what i'm going to be doing here so the first thing you're going to do is just to fold your fabric how we normally fold it for a pencil skirt so you can see i have my front pattern and the back pattern and then um so what I'm using here is basically my hip measurement divided by four. So um, for me, my hip measurement here is um, about 46 divided by four, that's 11.5. Then plus extra one inch for my seam allowance on the side. So, but as you can see, my back panel is longer by about also the same 1.5 uh, 1 for two inches. That's for my zip allowance. So the next thing is to measure from your waist to your hip. And for me, my waist to my hip is going to be about 8 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that out. Mark it out on a straight line. And then you're going to put in your hip measurement there, which is basically the fold of the fabric. Just how you normally cut your, your pencil skirt is the pattern that you need here so you're going to go up to your waistline divide your waist by four and add extra two inches there one inch for your seam allowance and then one inch for your dotting of the skirt so after that you connect the two lines together so the next thing you're going to do is to go down to the end of the skirt because it's a pencil skirt right you're just going to subtract one inch from there and then you're going to connect it but before you connect it you're going to go ahead and from your hip line you're going to come down by one inch because if you don't come down by one inch that that hip part will be pointed right if you just connect it directly so after that you're going to connect it so guys now after connecting it the next thing you're going to do is to put in your dart so i'm using my breast point measurement which is eight divided by two that's four so that was the width i used there um from the center of the skirt the distance there is four so then your dart is going to stop for the length of the dart two inches before your hip my hip was on the eighth line so my dart is going to stop at six which is where it is now for the length you're going to mark half an inch on each side and then you're going to go ahead and connect it to the top so and then after that you're going to notch notch it so that you know that that's where you're going to place your dart on all the sides of the skirt so guys now that we'll finish marking out our um, basic bodies so the next thing we're going to do is to just come down one inch from the waist of the uh, skirt this is leaving room for the band and then you're going to come down one inch after your hip line or just wherever you want it to stop on your hip so th then you're going to uh, measure out the distance so for me that's 10 inches distance so after that you're going to multiply whatever you got for yours by 2 or by 2.5 depending on that's going to be the width of the um extra fabric you're using that's the ruffle from the the tie in front so the length you can use times two of that which is going to be 20 or you can use time 2.5 is which is going to be like 25 so i got 10 so i i, I can use times two of that or times 2.5 so after that you're going to determine the length you're also going to use for that so basically you're going to take your tape and wrap it around so you're going to take your tape and wrap it around from one side and then you're going to like from one side of your hip and then you're going to place it to the center and just use your tape to determine like how much of it you want to drop at the center right you see what i'm checking now from the side and then to the center how much of it you want to drop so for me after checking that i think i got about 37 or so so it depends on you see how i place my tape because remember you're going to tie it at the center of the skirt and then it's going to drop you can just go ahead and cut out a rectangular fabric the, um, using the width and then the length you want and then just use it like that or you can also use the method of um, trying to narrow it down at the end if you don't want it too bulky at the center so guys this is the side um that is going to be at the waist so then the other end this side will be at the waist so this is the side that you're going to pleat into the side seam and then the other end will drop at the center of your skirt so 
another thing you can do is to narrow it down you see what i'm trying to show you guys here so we already know the side that will be fixed into the side seam so you can just go ahead and make something it doesn't have to be this narrow at the end like mine but i'm just trying to illustrate that you can just do something that looks like that and then pleating the bulkier side into the waist and then the the, the part that is going to tie in front will be smaller so that's what i'm trying to so it's going to look something almost like a triangle shape is what i'm trying to explain and then when you're you when you cut it out the ends will be folded just the same way you fold the end of your cloth so you're just going to fold it that way what i'm using for my illustration so let's say this is the skirt this is the waist part this is the hip coming down this is the back so i'm going to go ahead and put in my dad so this is what i'm trying to say about the belt so you can go ahead and cut something that looks straight like this like a rectangle all the way to the end but all i'm saying is that when you tie it the end of the the end will be bulky when you tie it right so what you can do if you want to to reduce it is just to narrow it down a little coming to the end so what i'm going to do is just i'm going to narrow this one down so that it blends into the size of this so that the end will just narrow down this way so just chip off what basically chip off a little bit at the end so that it's not as wide as what you use for the getter at the side so that's what i'm saying so i'm going to just go ahead put in my dart and then show you guys how you're going to attach this side so this is between the front and one side of the back so i'm going to fold it back again so you see like in normal bodies you're going to come down like one inch but for this i just came down by half an inch here because this is just a smaller size here so you see and then you're going to fold it this way so the next how, how you're going to put in this plate is is not with gather because gather might be puffy by the side so basically what you're going to do is this is the front part here you're going to get what you're using and then at the top here you're just going to go ahead and start just put it in this way facing this way like the wrong side facing the side the inside of your cloth and then you're going to go ahead and pleat it this way just pleat it a little is what i'm saying just pleat it instead of using gather for it just go ahead come down one inch and just pleat how much however you need for it and then after that you're going to maybe use pin to hold it down right use pin to hold it down and then you're going to go ahead take the back side of it put it on top and then go ahead and sew it close so after you sew it close this is what you have on this side right and then you have this too so guys this is what you have now after that so you have one side coming this way and then the other side coming in this way with the pleat so you just go ahead and tie it you see so you can go ahead and tie it you can tie it on the side you can tie it to this side you can tie it at the center like how the thumbnail tied it so that's basically how you do it and then you go ahead and put in your band so to put in your band all you have to do is to cut out the waist of your skirt right and then normally you cut out like five inches width and then round your waist like you're going to measure around the waist including the zip allowance everything around the waist and then you're going to go ahead but the width you're going to use is about five inches so that when you fold it you have to read 2.5 on each side and then you're going to use half an inch tuck half an inch in this way tuck half an inch in this way and then you're going to start from one side of the back you're going to tuck half an inch in on on each side of it right so if you have five inches of width and you fold it into two what you're going to have is 2.5 on each side right and then you fold in half an inch on each side and then you're going to tuck this in between and then you're going to go ahead and just sew it all the way to the other end and when you're done you're putting your zip at the back fold your end and that will be it so that's basically how you you cut this type of uh, skirt and then you see i also closed up the end so you're going to sew it all the way to the end and close it up so this is what it looks like here so thank you guys so much for watching please like share and subscribe bye